to buy a helicopter. Otherwise, I would have came up with a different idea. I told you it was a bad idea. Oh, hey! He shot my rotor off. Shit, shit, shit. Thirty years have passed since even Eddie Murphy criticized Beverly Hills Cop 3, but he's back as Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F, one of three new summer movies I'll be reviewing this week on CJ at the Movies, along with sequels to such hits as Despicable Me and X. I'm Christopher Zweig. Let's take a look. This is a sequel that serves as a nostalgic trip but doesn't top the original 80s hit. Murphy is back as the loose cannon Detroit detective Axel Foley who returns to Beverly Hills to help his estranged defense attorney daughter played by Taylor Page out of a jam and he also teams up with detective Joseph Gordon-Levitt to solve the disappearance of his old buddy Lieutenant Billy Rosewood played by Judge Reinhold. You gotta do something. Axel, if you damage any city property... You're in a snowplow? Yeah, we're in a damn snowplow. What's the problem? A lot of blind spots in the snowplow. Murphy has been able to make up for his crappy period with movies like Dolomite Is My Name and Coming to America, and he still applies the same 80s charms into Axel, who can survive the 2020s with the right attitude, and you also get some fun supporting work from some of the original co-stars as well as some newcomers, and there are some laughs and a soundtrack that brings back some classic hits, but the story is filled with too many predictable formulas and cliches for me to fully enjoy this sequel. Nostalgia trips can be fun, but this movie keeps breaking down like that car with a banana in its tailpipe. Our next movie is Despicable Me 4, the latest edition in the popular animated franchise which began the Illumination Company. Steve Carell is back as the voice of Gru, the supervillain turned good guy who now has a bouncing baby Gru who is in the tradition of sons hating their fathers. I know you love your dada! Go on, say it. Dada! Dada! Yes, of course he loves you! He just, he just doesn't show it on his face! Or with his body language! <laughs> Right, Fru Jr., come on. The villain this time is the French cockroach enthusiast Maxime Lamel, voiced by Carell's old Anchorman co-star, Will Ferrell. Insert cog and remove rapidly. Cog not red? Come on! Did you pull it out rapidly? Yes, yes, very rapidly! Oh. Because the villain wants revenge on Gru for having him arrested, his family must be in a witness protection program, while his minions become the Anti-Villain League's latest weapon, a superhero team known as the Mega Minions, so imagine if the X-Men or Fantastic Four were yellow and rambunctious. <laughs> Despicable Me 4 has the bright colors and minion mayhem to keep kids entertained, but in a summer when we so far have gotten delightful and mature animated films like Inside Out 2 and Robot Dreams, we have a movie that relies on noise, cliches, and minion mayhem to keep the franchise on its billion dollar scale. The original movie was very funny and warm hearted because of how they were able to use its villainy with honest humor and its tiptoe into sentimentality while having the minions as some of the funniest comic relief characters in animation. But lately in the sequels and prequels, everyone has been basically recycling old jokes and barely pushing itself to new limits, like the second film did. Maybe this franchise will make a comeback, but for now I have to say no. And our last movie is Maxine, the conclusion to the X trilogy directed by Ty West, and it serves as one of the strongest movie trilogies I've ever seen, especially for its passion for cult horror movies shown at drive-in movie theaters and for Mia Goth igniting the screen once again as the porn star and would-be movie star Maxine Minx. The time is now 1985 Los Angeles, and she's finally given the opportunity to star in the sequel to a popular horror film, which originally starred Lily Collins. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Man. Maxine. This sequel is also inspired by a real-life serial killer known as the Night Stalker who knows about Maxine being the sole survivor of the Texas slaughters in the first film and targets her. If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? I'm pretty sure the reactions will be lukewarm and that Maxine wasn't as fresh as the first film or the prequel Pearl, but given all the qualities I've mentioned, I have to say this has been an awesome and twisted franchise, and with a great cast including Elizabeth Debicki, Giancarlo Esposito, Michelle Monaghan, Bobby Cannavale, and Kevin Bacon, Maxine closes it with style and nostalgia. Okay, recapping this week's new movies, thumbs down for Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F, thumbs down for Despicable Me 4, and thumbs way up for Maxine. Well, those are the new movies I'm reviewing this week. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay safe, and I'll see you at the movies. For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels, and please read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and download the new HD Radio app.